Hello and welcome back to the 10 minutes video series. Today in this video we will create a jewelry set and we will try to do it in 10 minutes or less. Alright, so I will be creating a ring, a new rings and also a pendant. So let's start. Let's go to the stopwatch, click on play and what I would like to achieve is a, a infinity shape so I will go to the ellipse from the center, clicking on F4, I'll go something like this and like this. And now from the perspective, what I will do is just go to the transform tools and use the twist tool. I will select the face that I want to twist and 180 degrees. So now that we have it like, like that, the only thing that I need to do is just grab this shape or this curve that I twist and with the gamble, I will do something like that. Very well, I will hide this one in this layer. I always like to have a layer where I can hide the objects that I don't need. And now from here, what I will do is do some from, I can go to tools or I can go to the quick commands, use the profile placer. And important what I'm going to do now, because I will be making booleans on this surface and this surface will intersect I will do it in two parts so I will select this I will make it smaller and like this and I will place one here and another one here in this place so now the only thing that I need to do now is just go to the surface sweep one between this curve and this and this. Perfect. And now what I will do again is I will do Control C, Control V. So I'm duplicating this sweep and now I will go to edit. And the only thing that I need to do is just click on flip so I get the other side. So we already have it. Now I will create the green rail and I will adapt this shape to the green rail that I just created. So clicking on the Alt key, I will do a copy, I will place it at the level that I want and now again I will select them and from transform I will use the pen tool, I will say that I want it on this side and symmetric, I will put it just to here, well, this is the end point, I need to get the angle that I want it here so I can go to minus 24, let's see how that looks like a bit more, minus 27. All right, so I will hide the original to the layer that I was talking before and this one, I will bring it to this layer so everything has the same color. Now again, I will place another profiles using the same profile that I've been using before, this one, I will move it here, all right, I want to create something very light and I will create the mirror profile and now the only thing that I need to do again is go to the surface, sweep one between this, this and this. All right, so we already have the first shape, we have the ring. Now what I will do is just create, create replicas from that. So I will go to the top view and again with the Alt key press, I will create a copy. This will be the pendant. I will leave it uh, flat and I can either get this one or the original one. I will get another one here because this is the one that I will be using to create the earrings. I will make them smaller. And now I will rotate it because I want them to be straight. And like this. Okay. And now I will get this and uh, parts and I will just bend them.
I just set the part that I want to keep it straight. And I'm doing this uh, shape because what I want to do is the earrings to adapt to the ear. Okay. Great. Now, the next thing that we need to do is just so five minutes we are in the middle. So I will select this part and I will create extract ISO curve. I will just click on 0.5 and this is all that I need. Now look what I'm going to do now. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to create, I need one, two, three copies. I will do Ctrl C and I will do Ctrl V1, Ctrl V2 and Ctrl V3. So now what I'm creating is three uh, extract ISO curves. So as you can see, them are all of them are here. The only thing that I need to do now is just go to the second one, edit, and just select that I want it here. The same with the third one, but I want it. Just select, let me select this. I want it here. I need to create uh, to click uh, Shift Control because this is a group of two surfaces. And I will do the same with this one. Let me just bring it to this. I will go to edit, select, and control shift. So now we have the ISO curve everywhere. All right. So probably I don't need to do anything on this one because the only thing that I need to do is just go here, gems, gems on curve, target object, this one. I don't know if uh, control shift always so that it gets the right surface. And what I will do is go to the size list. One millimeter. Okay. I will add settings, great. Now I will do the same on this one, curve, so seven minutes. Probably we will be able to make it gems on curve. The surface is this one, one millimeter stones and up to here and again I will go to settings on placer and the last one that will be this curve gems on curve target object control shift to select the right surface one millimeter and from here just here all right now the last thing eight minutes so i have two minutes left settings from placer good so i have it everywhere and now the only thing that i need to do is just select all the stones and go and from cutters utilize the gem cutter fantastic and now the only thing that I need to do is just go to solid boolean difference and select the first surfaces this control shift this one and control shift this one and now when it's asking me select second surfaces I will select these ones I click enter and now it's doing all the operation, the Boolean operations. So I still have like 45 seconds left. So we got it ready. And there we go. Probably the only thing that I need to do is just go to the collections and where we have all the collections, we have the findings. And I will get 
this one. I will import it. And it will be ready. So this is just something to add to the ring to do the presentation. But there we go. So in less than 10 minutes, we just made it. Something like this. So I it took me the this as I said around 10 minutes to create all the all the whole set and now what what we can do is just get the presentation ready and make a nice I can already stop this uh, stop the stopwatch but now what we can do is just make a nice presentation all right so all right, so I've been playing with it. I add this chain and I move everything around. So now I have a nice set to start to shoot some renders and some animations. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.